Yeah, I know it's hailing, but you know what? I've got to get the job done. <laughs> so then. Last night I finally finished um, the repairs to the sail bag um, but, and the next job is to give it a wash um, because um, it's just got a lot of green areas on it like this down here um, and that will need washing but looking at the weather it just doesn't look great for washing. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just throw it out on the pond soon and let the rain get on with it. <laughs> anyway, um, some of the things I wanted to talk to you about um, was um, on the bottom of the uh, sail bag in around the, um, the holes I've got a huge range of um, different webbings purely because um, I had these webbings on board and um, I'm a recycle, replace and reuse kind of girl so I'm reusing all these different webbings and um, the one that worked the best was actually a sail tie so um, it was um, thin enough um, to do the job so it meant that sewing was easy um, but it has still got the strength that you need um, to do the job so um, if you are a reuser like me sail ties are the way to go the other thing I've done um, or at least I've tried to do is um, for the zip I've done what's called an invisible seam um, or at least my best version of it when it's talking about canvas and basically um, here's my zip here and you can see that you can't see it um, and that's because uh, like I say this is an invisible seam and it is in there but I'm, I've done it this way because you know obviously the zip is just a lot more prone to UV damage so making it an invisible zip I'm hopefully reducing that element Hopefully, don't know, but it's what was worth a try. The joys of washing! <laughs> yeah, I know it's hailing. Yeah, I know it's hailing, but you know what? I've got to get the job done. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, it's not too bad to slide in. <laughs> As always. Why are we putting it on here? We've just washed it. Well, it can dry now. Um, and you might as well put it here. Dry in this weather? <laughs> I'll give you a hand. Yeah, I think I'll need a hand, Bev. It's not going any further, so hand is needed. But anyway, I'm putting the bolt rope in. Oh. Come yachting, it's glamorous. Yeah, this is the glamorous lifestyle of yachting. That's what we at Salty Lass portray. <laughs> Force hit, hailstones, rain, and a sail bag. Has to be washed though, Bev. Well, you can't leave anything lying around. Somebody will come and nick it. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, taking um, uh, the bridge away. Um, it's a good thing that there's two bridges <laughs> down to the marina. I was thinking, where am I to go? <laughs> I'd have to have a water taxi all the 10 feet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You wouldn't believe it's Carrick with that calm water, would you? I know, it hasn't been like this for days. It's just been horrendous for the last few days, but it does mean that we can get on with some boat work outside now. Well, it didn't take long 
a uh, quick trip to go and get some post and uh, the bridge is gone but I'll just show you what our post is we're still on board okay fair enough It's a small craft advisory. Whoa! Well, it's half the cost of reeds. Yeah. So uh, we've bought uh, a small craft advisory, which has got all the tie times and the tie charts. Um, but it's half the price, isn't it, Bev? Of the bigger. No, bigger it's half the price of the smaller version of reeds. Oh gosh, it's half it's, the price of the smaller version. It's a third the price of the big version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, this should um, sort us out for this year's cruising season. Um, but look at the weather. It's the first time in days. But it's actually calm enough that we can finish off all the work we need to do on the sails. Pleasant evening sunshine. Everything's nice. Having a biscuit and a cup of tea. Um, everything's calm for once. But I mean using this stuff and in case you're wondering what it is we asked one of the chandlers what was the best thing to waterproof products like this or like this and um, he said well I've got this one in stock and we said okay we'll give it a go <laughs> why not so I've been applying this to the winch covers and these are one of my bugbears because people say to me it seems like a lot of trouble to go making these things and and putting it on and it is a bit, but at the end of the day, you know, things like your binnacle's got hundreds if not thousands of quids worth of equipment on it. And people, you see them, you look around the marina, they just leave thousand pound chart plotters they go out and buy and they leave them open to the weather and it rains on them. Um, instruments get milky, their covers get UV damaged. These things here, the rain goes in through the top and it gets into the grease and sets the grease like rock and then your, your winch seizes up when you're out there. So the sake of a few minutes you can make a winch cover you can make a binnacle cover keep the weather off them and it works absolute wonders I mean you put your sails in a sail cover to keep the weather off it so why wouldn't you protect winches that cost six seven hundred quid a piece or a chart plotter that costs a thousand or fifteen hundred quid a piece why would you leave them out in the rain like people do so I've been putting this stuff on um, it absolutely stinks <laughs> That's all I can say. It's absolutely high as a kite here. But with a bit of luck, it'll keep the weather off. It'll waterproof these even more and keep the rain out of our winches and keep the, the rain out of the binnacle and things like that. And um, well, we'll let you know. We'll report back next time it chucks it down. But if you do have uh, a boat and you don't have your instruments and things covered, I'd advise you to do it because it just cuts down maintenance. It cuts down failures. Um, I suppose it depends whether you like spending money and having the exciting times of having your winch seize up when you're at sea. I had one winch seize up when I was at sea and trust me, it wasn't fun at all. Ever since then, these covers go on religiously and um, they're now weatherproofed as well. So I'm not recommending this particular brand. Um, it just happens to be the one I was handed. I suspect it happens to be the one I was handed because he had it in stock. Um, we'll let you see how it works out. So see how it goes. Well, the uh, sail bag is at last um, all dry um, and uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to put the battens in um, to the sail bag uh, but I've also just sprayed it with that spray that just gives it a waterproof, um, uh, basically it waterproofs it um, and that will just keep the uh, beading and stuff like that done. Um, but um, I've added an extra flap just because my sail, my um, what we call our horse blanket, <laughs> isn't quite long enough. So I've just added a little flap on the inside just to protect the sail as much as I can. Well, since the sail is just about to go up, um, I'm um, cleaning the slugs. And um, I can tell that they've all already got two different types of slugs. These white ones, which are just plastic. But you look at this um, black one. It's actually got metal on the inside. So why, why are you cleaning them? Well, we're going to be putting it up the mast. And um, it's just part of our annual 
checks and making sure that everything slides properly. Um, we're lots of coating them though, won't we? Yes, we're going to be coating them in PTFE. Um, try and put PTFE um, up the track as far as you can. Um, but failing that, if you're not going to go on a bosun's chair, um, put it at least on the slugs and then that way um, it just makes the sliding that little bit easier. Well, Bev's up front putting the band cars in. Uh, so that's all being sorted. Now, normally I'd video her, but she knows that she's way behind. So uh, we'll let her get on with it. Um, all the slugs are now clean. So I'm now going to do a little job, which is just clean the end of the sail. Um, it's just got green because um, we've left it exposed. I'll have, um, I've got an idea to stop that happening, but for now I'm going to clean it off. So why do we have to do it on a calm night, Bev? Because the crew won't be. <laughs> the weather might be calm, but the crew won't be calm, trust me. Yeah. Everybody gets upset fiddling with this stuff. Yeah, because we've got the sail up and you, and you can really tell where, what the battens do. Because there at the top we've got some battens, we've got a good shape in the sail. But further down, it just looks a bit messy, really. It's floppy. It's floppy because we've got no buttons in. So Bev's going to start dropping it so that we can actually get the buttons in. Yeah. And on top of that, I've got to get the reefs in. So I've got a few more beats to do. sails are going up and look at these we haven't tied them on now but they're at least starting to get into the places they're looking a bit better now I've got to just tie them off now but oh, definitely don't do this on a windy day well one of the uh, little projects that um, I uh, distracted myself with um, in between doing the sail bag stuff were some hatch covers. I have to tell you, I had so much problems over these little hatch covers um, with my first attempt being eh -eh. but um, Is that code for a disaster? <laughs> it wasn't good. <laughs> but I uh, contacted uh, a lady um, off uh, Sailing Argo and we'll put a link to her channel up here um, because they're much further north than us and um, what she does is she she made the hatch covers which I've done now and then the foam that we had underneath she actually put it on top underneath um, so you know cut this to size and then put it over the top of it yeah. and um, by putting the foam on this side she said she had no condensation whatsoever um, on the inside of a boat um, around the aluminium frames which is exactly what Beverly and I want um, we had ours on the inside and I have to be honest, we did actually have condensation quite a bit, didn't we, Bev? Not as much as we used to have before we tried it, but the aluminium still gets very cold. It does, so um, it's too late in the season to do an acid test, but, you know, we're, we're at least uh, got some new hatch covers now, so... <laughs>